Today, I'm gonna go over 10 AI prompts that you can use to generate digital products or print on demand products that you can later on sell on platforms such as Etsy or Redbubble. Ever since I discovered this whole world of AI, which was literally a month ago, I got really fascinated by it. And I was trying to find a way that I can use this to make money. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I specialize in dropshipping, specifically on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. But lately, my attention has been going towards Etsy. And the big reason why is because Etsy allows to sell digital products which have 90% profit margins and print on demand products where the margins are about 20 to 30%. However, my biggest challenge with Etsy was always coming up with the design. Not a very creative person and it was hard to me to come up with the design that I can sell maybe on a t-shirt or maybe some sort of poster or canva. But now with softwares like Midjourney or Dali, this has become very easy. I can just put a command, tell AI what to do and they will generate the design that I can later on use to sell. And whether you want to sell digital products or print on demand stuff on Etsy, you have to know that this process can be very automatic. When it comes to digital products, you just create one, put it up as a listing, and boom, people just download it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't fulfill any orders. You don't even have to deal with the returns because Etsy policy doesn't accept returns on digital products. And when it comes to the print on demand, you can use software such as Printful that will handle everything. They will handle the printing, the order fulfillment. You just need to come up with the design and advertise your listing, which Etsy can do it for you. So both of these methods are very passive, have very good more margins. The hardest part is just to come up with the design. And this is why you're watching this video because I'm going to show you these 10 designs that you can use. And you can find all of the prompts down below in the description of this video. And if you decide to use them, I would really appreciate it if you leave the like under this video. And I think you should watch the whole video because some of these prompts have special instructions, which I'm going to explain. So the way I found this prompt is by doing product research. So basically I went on Etsy and I was trying to see what other people are selling, what type of digital products or print on demand products are selling. And I found the product. I tried to see if there is a way that I can kind of do something similar using AI. So for example, one of the prompts I'm going to show you is this like funny picture of an animal in a specific style. So I was trying to see if there is a prompt that I can use that will generate similar images. And I was able to find something like that. And that's how that works. The reason being why I was trying to find products that are already selling is because it gives me a proof that something is already working. And all I have to do is just make something similar. I don't play with the unknown because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I like, it's what my customer likes and what they're looking for. And if they're looking for these funny pictures of the cat, that's what I'm gonna do. Before we start, there's one more thing I wanna mention. I just launched my YouTube memberships, which gives you extra tools and benefits. I'm gonna be uploading monthly lists of different AI prompts, such as the ones I shared today. I already have 40 of them and next month I'm gonna add more. So if you're interested in this type of stuff, you can check out the YouTube subscription down below under this video when it says join. I also upload monthly lists of products that you can drop ship on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay. These are the products I personally did product research for and found them on different suppliers. So you can use them as well. And there are some other benefits. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. So to create our designs, I'm gonna use Mid Journey, which is a graphic AI that was capable of generating really, really good pictures. Mid Journey has a free version. However, if you wanna have, get the commercial license, which is the one that allows you to resell your designs, your AI products, you would need to subscribe. Currently the subscription is $10 a month and you get unlimited designs and a commercial license and trust me it's worth it if you don't want to spend money you can also use the dali 2 which is the open ai software that is also capable of generating art and stuff like that you can try using these prompts over here however they might not be optimized for dali just because again i work with mid journey which is a better one the images are just better but go ahead and try and see if it works to get the mid journey you have to have a discord account everything is done on discord so go ahead create a discord account then go to this website midjourney.com and click on join the beta it's going to ask you to accept their invitation to their discord server next you're going to be taken to their server which looks like this and you can go to any of the newbies rooms like for example this one and you can start creating your prompts so to create a prompt all you have to do is type in slash imagine and then click on it and then you give in a comment so for example red dog running on green grass 
and then AI is going to ask you to accept their terms of services. So you're going to click yes. As you can see, AI is actually working on the design right now. So it's creating a red dog on the green grass when it's right now it's 93%, but when it's done, it's going to say done. And when it does it, it's probably going to at the bottom. So you have to scroll down until you see your design. All of these designs you see right now, these are all the people um, typing their prompts. And here's the design, the red dog on the green grass. And you can do this 25 times for free. But if you want to subscribe for $10, all you have to do is type in slash subscribe. When you do that, you're going to get the link. So you're going to click on this link and you're going to pick your plan. So if you pick the monthly one, this is the one I have right now and works great. Okay, so the prompt number one that I want to share with you is this Harry Potter style images, okay? You can literally put yourself, your picture of you and um, create this Harry Potter type of style of images, okay? The reason being why I picked this one as one of the things that you want to sell on is because when you go on Etsy, you see that there is so some similar products, okay? People are selling portraits of you being dressed as, as a Harry Potter character, right? Here you have one, right? So there are people dressed up as Harry Potter, and someone designed these these photos of them okay looks like this this item was very popular during december i guess this was related to christmas probably but here's more here's one right here here's one right here here's one right here one right here here here's another one so you can see that there is a bunch of them already like for example 20 people have this item in cart so there is a trend on this type of images, especially now when this new video game with Harry Potter is coming out. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people interested in Harry Potter. So it's a great product, it can be sold as a digital product, which is just you sell them the PDF or like a JPEG of their image, or you can do it as a print on demand, connect it to Printful, and they can create like a Canva and send it out to your customers. So it's a great product. And most importantly, is customizable which is something very big on etsy when people shop on etsy usually they go there because they want to create like a custom gift vintage gifts and this is perfect because this is a customizable image of you looking like a harry potter and here's an example of what this prompt can do so this is the type of images that this prompt can create so like you can see there's a woman dressed up in the gryffindor costume it has this harry potter type of background it looks great. It looks very cool. I'm sure there are people that would like to purchase the type of images of themselves. Okay, so the way you use this prompt is that you have to upload an image of someone that you want to create this image of, right? The one that is going to look like a Harry Potter. So you have to get an image from a customer. They will send it to you like in an email or maybe in a message on Etsy. And once you get an image, you upload it to the Discord. So right, right now on Discord, right? So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus button and upload file. And I decided that as an example, we're going to go with the picture of Joe Rogan. He's going to be our practice target. Okay, so I'm going to upload his image right now. And I got his image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in imagine just like I want to create the prompt, right? I'm going to paste the command and now I have to have the link to this picture. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on right click and copy image address. Now I'm going to go back to the prompt and at the very beginning of the prompt, I'm going to paste the link to that image that I just copied, which you can see right now. And I'm going to separate uh, the rest of the prompt with the space. I'm going to put his gender. So it's going to be man. And I'm going to put the Hogwarts house I want to put him in. He kind of gives me a Gryffindor vibe. So I'm going to put him in the Gryffindor, Gryffindor robes. And then you just click enter and let's see what happens. So these are the results we got. And I'm going to be honest with you, they are not the best. And that happens sometimes. So if your results don't really match the original picture, like they don't really match his face. I feel like this AI is a little bit off. So what you can do is you can upload multiple pictures of that person. So if, in your case, if it's a customer, ask maybe for six different images of their face and then upload it. Because the more data you give to AI, the more images of like certain person you give it to AI, the better results that they can create. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to add more images of this person so I can get better results. So I'm uploading six different images right now and I'm going to copy the links for each one of them in, and put them in the prompt. That way, hopefully we'll get better results. Picture number one, number two. I'm separating each image with the space. That way every link is separated and they don't get confused. Okay, I got all the links pasted in the prompt. Now I'm gonna use the command that I used previously and let's see what happens. 
So here are the results. Now, these images look better compared to the first results that we got. Again, what we did here, we, we added more images initially to get AI more information about someone's face. And we got four different versions. And I think the best one, in my opinion, is this one. This is the closest one to Joe Rogan's face. So what you can do now is you can tell AI that you want more, more versions of the first one. So I'm going to pick the V1 version one. And now AI is going to create more results similar to that image. And here's what we got. Do you want to make your cat look royal? Because now you can. There are people selling this type of services on Etsy where you can send them an image of your cat or a dog and they will make it look like a queen or some sort of royal person. Take a look at this example. Someone is selling this service right here. It's a both print on demand and a digital product. And the digital product costs $29. So just to get a PDF of this picture, it costs you $29. And now I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself as well. So the way this prompt works is you have to know the breed of the animal that you want to put in the image. So you see right here where it says pet, you're going to replace it with the breed of the pet. So let's say I want to put a Siamese cat wearing military suit and I want to see what happens. So I'm going to click enter. And let's see if Mid Journey is capable of producing this image. Wow, they look fantastic to be honest with you. Yeah, another idea is to create this type of flowers in a dark background, kind of give you like this baroque type of style. This can be both print on demand or a digital product. In this case, this is actually a print on demand. So someone is selling it only for two dollars, but they don't need to do anything. Clearly a passive income because they don't have to fulfill any orders, anything. People just download this as it is. And in this case, this listing is only one month old and already had eight sales and it made $51 store brand new listing. And I thought maybe I can create something myself. And I was able to create the prompt that actually can create this type of image. So here's one, here's another one. You can get another one right here as well. Here's another one. So this is the prompt I use. You're gonna have a link for it down below under this video. It works great. Number four is something slightly different because I'm not sure if there's a lot of listings with this type of design, but it's basically this 80s dark style fantasy movie. So a couple days ago, this thing has exploded on YouTube. Whenever you go on YouTube, even on TikTok and stuff like that, you're going to see these like videos of remakes of old movies into 80s style. So for example, right here you have Avengers. Someone make all the Avengers look like they are created in the 80s in a dark fantasy type of movie okay here's one uh it's the bible okay here's another one spongebob in in the dark fantasy 80s style so there's so many of them on youtube whenever you go on youtube you're gonna see so many of these videos and i thought maybe this can be replicated this this trend can be rec replicated on etsy yes i don't really see listings like that on etsy with this type of style but i think this is this one of those things that like you can be the first one to jump on this trend i'm telling you there's so many youtube videos about it there's for sure some demand for it now just the time to capitalize on it and start creating products around it so for example last month avatar 2 has came out so there might be some interest in this movie it's a it's a big very popular movie so now you can create it into 80s and maybe put an image of an avatar on a t-shirt so let's see if we can create something like that so this is the prompt so the first thing we have to do we have to put the title of the movie and then what it says insert description you need to tell them what you want to describe so maybe let's pick the, the avatar character to be displayed i don't really know their name so let me google them really fast all right i put the name of one of the characters in the description so now i'm gonna click enter and let's see what happens so this is what the avatar 2 would look like if it was made in the 80s this looks kind of cool to be honest with you if you can figure out a way to make products around this theme i think you can hit the golden nugget because there's not much competition around this type of products but there is a huge trend for it because there's a lot of people on YouTube and TikTok and all of these other social medias watching this type of videos right now. Okay, the next one is uh, kind of cool. This is like this comic type of dark style with a very vibrant color images. Like this is, for example, a Spider-Man, right? And it looks really cool. He looks like, you know, like a strong big guy. And the prompt for this is very easy. You just have to put the name of the character at the beginning. So let's say superman let's see what happens wow these are really cool look at these i think this one's really cool this one's really good these two are kind of cool but like the s you can't really see the s unless you can fix that but these designs are really cool very graphic and i think the people that will be interested in this type of product will be gamers for example who can advertise this as a create a custom logo for someone 
you can see gamers are using these colors it's like vibrant neo neo type of style or you can also sell it as a t-shirt design for example on Redbubble, which is another platform that you can sell your custom designs. You can see that someone is selling a t-shirt that has a very similar style like that. I think like gamers, that's the target audience for this type of products. So you can create something like that, something very similar to what the prompt is allowing you to do. And speaking of t-shirts, I have another prompt that you can use for t-shirts, hoodies, basically clothes. You can create any character. It looks kind of cool. So the way it works, you put the prompt, you put the name of the character. So I'm going to put Wolverine and then the feature or a trait that you want this character to do. So maybe you want to, I don't know, to do dancing, which is something that I added. I want this character to be dancing or maybe you want to hold a fork or a laptop or something. I don't know. It, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But uh, I want to see Wolverine dancing and let's see what's going to happen. And this is what we got. It looks pretty good, but Wolverine is not really dancing in this video. So sometimes you don't get what you ask for, but still relatively good. I think all these designs are really, really good. All of them are really good. And again, my idea was like putting this maybe on a cap or a hoodie or a t-shirt for anyone that's interested in like, you know, all these characters. You can put any character there. It doesn't have to be Marvel. It can be Pokemon or, you know, I don't know, whatever you wanted, whatever your customer wanted, you can just create some designs and come up with them and put them in the prompt. Okay, I want to go back to animals now because animal people are really crazy and they spend a lot of money on their on their pets. So another one that I want to try out is this uh, cartoonish animal. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the style I'm looking for. So I want to create something like this, like so like a cartoonish look of a pet. So this listing, for example, is only one month old and it already got 19 sales and generated 426 sales. And I have a prompt that can create something similar. So this is the prompt and all you have to do is put the name of the breed that you want to get off. So let's say I want to get Husky. Like the Husky dog and let's see what happens. Oh, they look amazing. Look at these. They look really, really good. They look like a Disney characters. So now you can compete with this guy who's already doing exact same thing that we are trying to do. So use this prompt and you're going to get the same results. Okay, another one is um, also about animals, but it's more about frames, pictures and canvas. So there is like a big trend around lions. Like people are obsessed with lions for some reason. Lions, horses, wolves. I think it's because these are like powerful animals or something like that. So there are people sending pictures of lions, for example. Here's one. Here's another one. And it's just a it's just a picture of a lion in like a frame. So here's one for example. We only got one sale, but this is a brand new listing. It's less than one month off, and it got seventy nine dollars. Okay, so it's a Canva of a lion. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make one of those yourself. So this is the prompt. So you have to put an animal name. So in our case, it's gonna be lion, and then the location. So let's say we want this lion to be in a jungle. Okay. Let's see what happens and take a look at those. They look fantastic. They look like a scene from like a Disney movie. Whenever you get a picture with a fonts, for example, like right here, you can see a text. What you can do is you can add at the end of the prompt, no fonts. That way it's not going to generate any text and you don't have to worry about it too much. But wow, these look good. Okay, how about caricatures? You can now create them. People like to buy this type of stuff as a joke, as a gift, maybe for like birthday or something like that. And there's a bunch of listings like that on Etsy already and they're doing quite well. This one, for example, got 467 sales in the last month and generated over $1,800 a month. So now I'm going to show you how you can make one of those yourself. You're going to have to upload an image of your customer. In our case, let's assume that's Joe Rogan again. And then I'm going to put the prompt. And when it says your photo URL, you're going to copy the URL of this image that you uploaded, paste it right here. Make sure that you separate everything with the space, click enter. And here are the images. I think the number three and number four is pretty funny. The top two, I, I don't know about that, but these two are pretty funny. So I think this prompt is great. Again, this is a customizable gift and people on Etsy, a lot of people are on Etsy are looking for customizable gifts. So this can work great. And it's a pretty fun product to create. Okay, the last one is this type of style called through keyhole. So it's like a magical word that you can see through the keyhole. It looks like you're looking through the keyhole. 
in a way i think this item can be used for this this design can be used for is for like maybe iphone cases or maybe a t-shirt or maybe our art wall specifically i was focusing on iphone cases the reason being why i'm saying this is because they just look cool i don't have any data that can back this up i'm gonna be honest with you but i think this is very original nobody else is doing it and i think this would look very very cool on like an iphone cases so it can be a print on demand product that you put on an iphone case and there's a lot of people that are like into psychedelics and space and aliens and stuff like that and i think this is something that could work for them so the prompt is pretty simple you have to type in what type of keyhole you want to put it so let's say a wooden keyhole and then describe the fantasy setup you wanted to show so i'm just gonna say mars okay i just want to show it to the planet mars so let's see what happens really cool i mean this is this looks like something from a different planet a lot of these like you know potheads would love this type of <laughs> picture no offense to potheads i'm just kidding but anyway i think this is good this looks really great again i don't really have a data that I can back it up if this will sell or not the last one is kind of hit or miss i just thought that the design looks cool try it let me know if it worked for you I, again i see this as a as an ipad case or iphone case that's where i see these products to be cool because like imagine having this type of design on the back of your phone i think it will look very very cool all right these are all the designs i have for you i hope you guys like them if you want to get more of them i have currently over 40 of ar prompts that you can use for different digital products and print on demand products all you have to do is just join my youtube memberships and every month you receive new ar prompts and also a list of dropshipping products that you can use to dropship on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, Etsy, whatever you want to dropship to, you can use these products. I personally did product research on these products and found them myself from different suppliers. And there are some other benefits as well. Or if you want to check out my course, I currently have a buy one, get one for free. So you can get two courses for the price of one about dropshipping. Go to dropshippingyield.com to check out more. But enough of this salesy stuff. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Take care.